What's up, guys? Stas here. So I want to do a quick Palantir update heading into this week. The stock didn't do that well this past Friday, and honestly, it hasn't been doing well over the past couple of weeks. So let's do a quick breakdown on the charts, talk about key levels, what I'm looking to do heading into this week. But before we do that, guys, do not forget to get up to 16 stocks for Moomoo, each up to $2,000. Just use that link down below. Once you open up your account and fund it with your initial $100 deposit, you get five stocks right off the bat. And once you fund it with at least $1,000, you get 10 more stocks and funnel with at least $5,000 for a limited time. You also get a free share of either Google stock or Tesla stock, which makes this promo a no brainer. So get on it guys. What are you waiting for? Use that link down below or simply go to stasurfest.com slash moomoo. And with that being said, folks, cheers. Let's dive right into the video. So like I said, Palantir stock has not been doing well the past couple of days and really the past couple of weeks. And especially on Friday intraday, it pretty much down trended all day and it actually got itself into a descending triangle which is not the best sign here in the very short term for the bulls which i can show you guys uh what that's looking like right now so all pre-market i'm not sure if you guys noticed but on friday palantir was pretty much flat around 1505 to about 1515 right so 10 cents 10 15 cent consolidation then right at open we saw a massive move pretty much out of nowhere right this thing uh, actually not right at open. It took a couple of minutes there, uh, but you know, maybe a minute in, yeah, a minute in, we saw that huge run <clears throat> from $15 and 15 or 10 cents all the way to 1560 by about what? 934. So in the first four minutes, guys, Palantir stock went up on Friday about three and a half percent. It ran out of the gates or, you know, it came out of the gates scorching hot. Right. And then we saw this thing double top at about 1555 1560 right here one top two tops right and then we pretty much downtrended uh for the rest of the day right so it started off hot but then boom we downtrended for the rest of the day and we got ourselves in this descending triangle because look we didn't break under 15 that is a good sign for the bulls right that's solid uh the fact that we held 15 15 10 that's good but we uh we we made lower highs into that point for the uh, for the majority of the day, all day pretty much. You guys can see if I get this uh, oval tool out, boom, lower high right there, lower high, lower high, lower high. You guys see all these lower highs, right? So we were making lower highs all day, getting ourselves deeper into that descending triangle, which if you guys didn't know, that is a bearish pattern. It's not a bullish pattern. It is a bearish pattern, so keep that in mind. If we do see that thing break under 15 or Palantir break under 15, let me set my alert there, Mark, is that we're below. That's where we could see this thing slip even more. Unfortunately, that's the reality of the matter, but you know it could slip even more, uh, although it's not doing it quite yet. And if I pull the five-day up, you guys can see on Thursday, we got all the way down to 1430. I'm not sure if you guys remember that. This thing slipped heavy in the pre-market Thursday and at open Thursday. Then it recovered, which is good for the Bulls. You know, the fact that it recovered from 1430 back to pretty much 1530. Uh, but we're holding on by a thread, man. We're holding on <clears throat> by a thread right now at 15. And if, and if this thing starts slipping under that point, we could be going right back to the mid-low 14s, uh, which we were just at on Thursday, right? We could be going back to 1430, maybe even lower. So I'm looking on the downside here, guys, on Palantir. And and by, and by the way, I'm not trying to be a doomsdayer or I'm not trying uh, to piss anybody off. I'm just, you know, giving it to you guys how it is. So if you enjoy the type of content that I make here where it's unbiased, as unbiased as I can be, guys, I'm only human. I mean, sometimes maybe I'm leaning more towards this or that, depending on how things are looking, but I'm as unbiased as I can be, right? And by the looks of it, again, we have that triangle and we have that $15 alert set, which if that, you know, hits, we could be going right down here. We could be playing in this window right here this week, you know, maybe as soon as early this early this week. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but, you know, that's kind of what I'm looking at. And as we peel the layers back a little bit more, let's say the 10 day chart, you guys can see it even more, right? Just a couple of weeks ago, uh, you know, two, three weeks ago, we were at $14 flat. So we could easily be going right to that point again, guys. On the 20 day chart, you can see right here, uh, you know, the downside gap again, uh, the resistance at about 1585, 16, 1650. That's a, you know, that's a big spot on the upside here. And we failed to break out of the mid 15s on Friday, obviously Thursday, but Wednesday as well, all of last week. So for, for the Bulls to show any signs of life right now, 
they're going to need to step it up and start pushing 15 again. Uh, well, really, mid-15s, high-15s. Uh, you know, if we start breaking 16, 50, even better. But right now, we're kind of in no man's land. I think where we are right now on Palantir stock is pretty much no man's land. Let me actually get the cha uh, channel tool out to show you guys. We just need to pick direction, man. We just need to pick direction. Is it going to be under 14, which obviously would be good for the uh, the Bears? Or are we going to break above 1575, 16, 1650, which obviously... Uh, would be good for the Bulls. Let me actually set my alert at 1650 right now. And, uh, you know, we'll keep an eye on it, man. We'll keep an eye on it. And, of course, you guys know the deal. We're going to make a lot of Palantir stock update uh, videos this upcoming week. So make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell if you have not done so already because we're going to see how this thing plays out. And as of now, again, no man's land. But at some point, we're going to pick direction. And that's where the real money is uh, is going to be made. But as of now, we have to be patient, and a lot of the time, that's what investing, trading is all about. It's not about rushing and making moves every minute of every single day, of every waking hour of the day. That's not the reality of the matter here, guys. A lot of the time, you know, pretty much all the time, it's you being patient, it's you being very strategic, and, you know, waiting for the opportunity to actually unfold in front of you instead of you forcing it or, you know, jumping the gun and getting in too early, right? So we're going to see what Palantir does here. And of course, I've mentioned this before on these uh, videos, guys. We have a head and shoulders on Palantir on the four hour chart here, which makes it even more important for this thing to break above 1650. Makes it even more important, which by the looks of it, man, we could be picking direction maybe as soon as this week. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes as now we're kind of here in. Uh, no man's land. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Let me actually see some other stocks very quickly here that I'm looking at for this week uh, before we do wrap up the video. So it looks like Square got a big beat down uh, to finish off the week. And isn't it crazy? Just like that, now we're back at lows on Square. We hit 52.78 on Friday, which is just ridiculous. Uh, I'm not saying like it's ridiculous because it's undervalued, but it, the, the volatility here is ridiculous. I mean, this thing was at 90 bucks back in February, got down to about 54. Then we got that short report, right? When did we get that short report? I forget. Uh, but then we got up to $81. Now we're back to 52. So the way I'm looking at this is, all right, maybe if this thing gets back to the 40s, is it worth taking a shot on it? It might be. It might just be, guys, because judging on the past couple of months on the stock, each time it gets way beaten down and we take the lows out from the previous low, uh, you know, we, we see a, a rally thereafter. And, I, and I'm not saying it's guaranteed here on Square, but the fact that we just hit 52, we're getting very beaten down. If we start going 40s, man, we get even more oversold. That could be a spot where I might consider trickling in a little bit, maybe buying some, uh, you know, calls on this. I don't know, not short-term calls, probably, you know, a couple months out. Uh, so I have time on my side. Uh, but, you know, it's something that I'm looking at, I'm considering. But it's, of course, risky, as always, with any stock out there, uh, especially one that's in a downtrend, right? You know, trying to get in before the breakout or, you know, trying to get in when it's oversold sometimes gets a little bit tricky. It goes back to what I said before, being patient and being uh, very diligent on where you're actually buying and have a plan, right? Have a plan and stick to it. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at StossRFest or Stoss Talk Stocks. Link down below. Make sure to go follow me on there. And don't forget to get up to 16 stocks for Moomoo, each up to $2,000. Guys, use that link down below. Once you open up your account and fund it with that lease, 100 bucks, you get five stocks right off the bat. And fund it with that lease, $1,000, you get 10 more stocks, totaling 15 stocks. And listen to this, guys, for a limited time. If you fund your account, at least $5,000. You also get a free share of either Google stock or Tesla stock, which makes this promo a no-brainer. So get on it. Use that link down below. And with that being said, guys, cheers. I'll catch you all in the next one.